up. Right, there's some shoot shelf hill aerial, everyone. I did more than I should have climbed up, which I didn't wasn't in the plan. But I thought I wouldn't go through the the wood because it would be very very tickified. But I found by exploring, I found this track. I just hope I can get out because there's a quarry in front of me. Usually, there's a lot of cows here, as you can see. So it's a route you wouldn't. You would avoid, usually. But for all I know, there could be a herd around the corner. But there's no sign of pack. And this looks quite old. But there was a gate up the top there. And... Basically, I'm just hoping I can get through over there. I don't know, I've never done this bit before. And I probably should have carried on going up. I do make these very expensive, energy-wise mistakes at times. Do, do you? Yeah. I call them energy mistakes. Because um, every time I do a diversion, it's an error. And, and, and I believe there was a gate up there, right? I think I can see it. I need to get the other side of that tree. Okay, but I don't know if there's a way through. If not, we'll go up to we'll go up. We'll, we will get through. There used to be a very prominent gate. I don't feel like going back up there and then up round. The idea was to get on the path there, really. Anyway, I sprayed myself with this uh, herbicide. Not herbicide. Um, insect repellent not deep it wasn't supposed to contain anything nasty I don't know if I can get through there I don't know the idea I could have come up through there see there's a way in but I deliberately avoided it to avoid ticks I now got hope that there's a a gate there used to be a gate up here. <sighs> Thank God there ain't cows in here. My bag seems to be getting heavier and heavier. <sighs> doing a lot of hill I didn't plan on. Now in theory, if I'd come up through the wood, I wouldn't have done any hill. Would have cut through, then come up a little path, which is the other side of that tree. <sighs> which looks very barbed wirey to me. There's a path there. Right? If not, we got to walk up there. There's tyre marks. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. I'm a bit annoyed myself. Right then, there's the aerial. I could have carried on walking up and passing it. There's the shoot shelf hill aerial, folks. It's a reference point for lots of people on their walks. There was a gate here once. They've taken it away. There's no cows in there at all. And you can follow a path all the way down to the big mansion and care home if you want to go back to Axbridge now and walk around the reservoir or walk to Cheddar. This is a way you can do. You can cut out all this. But Sheila being Sheila, she's doing it all. But I'm not doing piney slights. There's not time. There? No. There's no time for piney sites today. Now I've probably got to climb over this because it uh, belongs to the um, people who own the mast. It's all bolted up. They don't really like people to come in in there. Right, so I'm just going to turn off for a minute, but there's the quarry, folks. You might be able to hear it. Over and out. Right, folks, here's our Callow Hill quarry like I said once just up there a bit you were able to walk on the top of Callow Hill over to that bit it was a big beautiful hill here with beautiful trees and you could join up and go through the wood over the other side now I don't know whether you can still walk around the edge that way I'm not doing it today 
I might do it another day but normally I come out from a callow drove up just a bit further up there and uh, see there's a sign now yellow sign I'm not sure if you can walk all the way round I'm not sure I'm gonna go this way but I've noticed uh, the quarry bit has gone like really deep purpley bluey mauvey colour um, I don't know what magenta either I don't know what you call that and I wonder why it's blue as well I wonder why it's blue is it come out with the stones or what still a working quarry big trucks big cranes some trucks there's a truck there on the move no good that a viewfinder I can't see nothing actually <laughs> it's really bad this, this camera for that I'm grateful for it doing something but you can't home in on anything but somewhere over there there's a truck on the move I think I can just about see it now there it is it's just going there somewhere I've lost it again but anyway this is the quarry callow I call it callow quarry it's, it's a cheddar quarry and I I reckon you probably still can walk right round that way I'm not sure I'm going this way anyway so there's the shoot shelf hill aerial and that's the way if you go up there a bit you can turn left through a stile and go back down and you can even join the West Mendip way if you want and go across a field it'll take you down to the bottom there where it joins the West Mendip way and then you can make your way to along the strawberry line to um, Cheddar uh, um, Winscombe or you can um, get the bus down the bottom there just seen somebody coming Yes, look at that, all that geology. I don't know if they're coming this way. Just a very, very brief video here, folks. I, in the past, I've come up this way. I avoided it today, even though I sprayed myself with tick stuff. Um... I just met a nice young lady who's out walking and she's told me that the blue magenta colour in the quarry is like minerals that leak out of the geology. I bet she could smell all my spray on me, you know. I must smell like a walking chemical at the moment. I hope it fades a bit. It's bloody awful. I don't think I'll put quite as much on next time. It's prevention. You have to put it on before you go out. I don't know how long it lasts. I suppose you could smell it. She did wipe her nose at one point. I thought, oh, you could smell my bloody trek, it's called. I bought 20 pounds worth. Three different, we've got two bikes. They're not 10 quid a bottle. You buy, um, I bought three different types. I bought one 50% DEET as well, just in case I get a bad attack. I am, I'm not carrying it with me though. That would be applied when I got home to get rid of any. Yeah, I spent 20 quid on chemicals. But they should last me unless someone comes in and pinches them. Or uses, uses them. I mean, two, I haven't even been opened yet. Anyway, folks. I'm skirting Callow Quarry, Cheddar Quarry, and <sighs> which I've done in detail before, by the way. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, it's hard work though. Is it? Yeah. Well, what knackered me really was climbing up Shoot Shelf Hill. And I could have done just skirted through that little wooded path. Anyway, turning off now. I think I might be able to see some sheep in the orchard there. I'll turn on again in a minute. Right, back on. I'm over at the Callow Hill Quarry. And uh, I've just noticed a big herd of cows, which I managed to avoid when I was climbing up Shoot Shelf Hill. So that was pretty good. And here's the big quarry. I've already taken lots of photos. Once this was a big hill. A beautiful hill that I used to walk right across to pick up the other side there. It's so enjoyable. It's gone. Gone. Eating away at it all the time. I will try that route one day to see if it is there. There's a lorry going up now. Looks like it's carrying stuff up there. Looks like a monster, doesn't it, with antennae? Yeah. Maybe they've reached the, the edge of what they're doing now. I don't know, really. They might need to cut all that away. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll go around. We will make an effort and go around that way. But not on the walk I did today. I would just come straight up onto Shoot Shelf Hill through the Callow Drove and try it. And then when I got to the other side, I'd ma make my way back that way. I, I, I'd do a diversion in the opposite direction. Today, in theory, I'm supposed to be doing cheddar. I don't know if I'll make it. We've got to keep an eye on the time. I don't want to rush. It's a lovely walk. But I know there are ways down towards the reservoir further down here. There's a turning. And it goes through a like a holiday, log cabin holiday place. But this is such a beautiful walk. It is so peaceful here. You know, that's why I like it. Whereas the herds would be in Western, I'd live right near the beach. The herds would be in Western, right? I get away. I get away. I get away from Western. Do you? I'm just taking some pictures of the little tiny lamb. He's probably never seen a human before. Hello. Hello, darling. It's all right. Don't move. Don't move. You stay. It's okay. Beautiful, aren't you, darling? Bye. 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 Herdwicks, that's what these sheep are. Cumbrian sheep with the big fur, grey woolly fur. They're herdwicks mixed in with some other ones. I knew that they were. I wonder how they're coping here in this heat. There's a little one there. Hello! Little herdy! Little herdwick! So I was just trying to wait for the name to come to me, and it's Herdwicks. And there's a whole load of them over there as well. They must be, um, they're ha very hardy. They're very hardy sheep. They're Cumbrian sheep. And um, a number of farmers are investing in them. 
but I don't know why because the thing is it's warmer down here than Cumbria but I've got a feeling like in the winter they're better for staying out on the hills and of course you can flog their wool Herdwick wool can you? yeah I think you pay more for people pay more for the Herdwick imagine having a lovely Herdwick woolly jumper now look at these views folks I know I've done them before I can't remember what season it was but it wouldn't have been in the winter when I did this you know it wouldn't have been in the winter I was just thinking when I get on that bus this chemical ain't going to go away is it I don't think it's going to go away I'm going to stink of that I don't, I hope it's not leaking in my bag. Imagine that. Check it out in a minute. Well, what have you had to eat? I've had cheese, Kit Kat, banana. I've got cake and crisps left. Oh, I've had an orange as well, and I've got another orange as well. I'm going to have a sweet now. Right, I haven't brought loads. I've got some cake. I've got cake, crisps, and an orange. I think that's it. I remember, remember that. What I remember is thinking, I wouldn't want to walk this way. I mean, that girl was walking very fast or even running up here. But when I did it the first time, I thought, this would be a long hike up. Do you know what I mean? it's a long way yet I'm just hoping the cows aren't out over the other side anyway my arms are getting some vitamin D You'd rather do it, overdo it, I think. It keeps the bloody blasters off me. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to turn off now. But before I do, we just zoom into a bit of a quarry over the other side. That could be the redundant one that I've got to go by when I cross the main Shipham Cheddar Road. Over and out.